Hello and welcome. This is the first time I've ever really filmed my voice, so please bear with me. Um, what I'm doing is I'm taking a manga cover from Jujutsu Kaisen, and I'm going to do a project on a giant canvas. I forgot the dimensions of the canvas, I just know it's huge and I got it for $5, and that makes me happy. <laughs> Anywho, um, so I'm tracing the manga cover onto the canvas, and the mock-up I did before, I was just figuring out what colors I needed for the base, and that will come in later when I start using markers, and I'll just explain what we're doing as we go. So yeah, enjoy! Using a spare canvas, I was testing my markers to see which one would work the best. So I used Master's Touch, Cali Art markers, and Sharpie marker to see which one would work best. I took it outside and I sprayed it with rubbing alcohol. And I really liked how the Cali Art markers responded with it. And so that's the one that I decided to use. Knowing that the marker ink is going to spread as I spray it with the rubbing alcohol, I am putting tape down to see if it will help it so it doesn't go all over the place because in the beginning, like, I knew that it was going to be pretty messy and it was gonna just spray everywhere and run everywhere so i was curious to see if tape would not do that but you know things happen and like i probably should have tested this before but i'm not disappointed with the result i actually really like it it was a happy mistake but the tape really didn't help <laughs> um but Everything's a learning experience, and that's perfectly fine. And, like, everybody makes mistakes in their projects, and it's just something you've got to learn from. But mistakes can be happy mistakes, too. And my filming gear isn't too great. It's the first time I've ever actually filmed. Well, I've done a project like this, so I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> and, yeah. It's fine. Anywho, I tried to fix the mistake where the tape and the ink went together, but it didn't really work. So I chose not to do tape anymore because it creates a large line um, because it goes underneath the tape and gets stuck, but it doesn't look bad and it's just a choice that I'm not going to do later.
After I'd finished spraying it, I took a fine tip sharpie marker and I was going over where all my pencil lines were so I could do the line art. And I don't know why this segment ended up so dark. Um, yeah, I don't know. Filming is always rough. After finishing the line art, I took a white gel pen and I started doing the Japanese and Chinese characters from the manga cover. The white gel pen wasn't quite enough to fill the areas, it was going to be blotchy and not even, and I was going to use a lot of the ink, so I decided to take some white paint and fill in the large areas. Um, and later I do the same with red, with the big words at the top. So I decided that I was going to paint the edges black so it would look more finished and refined and it wouldn't look too messy. That is something that I learned in one of my college classes is that you always paint the edges. So I decided to use black here so it would tie in with the background that I did on the front. completely finished but then I realized I forgot to do the spots on his tie and 
the his the black in his glasses and so I hurry and added that and this is the final product of the piece I was really happy and excited with how it turned out of course there are things that didn't go exactly how I wanted it to but that's how always how it will be in art and it's not ex an exact replica which I'm fine with it looks cool I like it it's fine um and it's something that I've just always enjoyed this type of process of art and Nanami is just one of my favorite characters from Jujutsu Kaisen so I was just really happy to be able to make him look cool